Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide and today we are going to see about the Windows transformation in Azure Data Factory. So what is Windows transformation? So the window transformation is where you will define windows based aggregation of a column in your data stream. In the expression builder you can define different type of aggregations and aggregations that could be the sum, min, max, count. So all these aggregations we can do under the expression builder and that are based on data or the time window function inside the SQL server we have already seen the SQL OR clause. So this is the same thing inside the ADF as well. So inside the SQL server we have seen the functions like lead function, lag function, entire function. So all these functions we have already seen there. So under those we are using the OR clause. So the same thing we could use inside the windows transformation as well. And a new field will be generated in your output that includes these aggregations. You can also include optional group by fields. So this is all about the windows transformation. If it's not very clear now, so go to on the scenario where we will see. So here we can see this is our input stream. So input stream is having the data for the sales. So like the first column is the sales order ID, sales order date, item ID, quantity and value. So these are the input columns. So here we can see sales order one, which is having total six items and the quantity that we could see and the value of those items. Similarly for ID two, we can see and ID three, we can see that. So in the output, we just want to have the running total for each of the sales order ID. So what is the running total? So if you can see in the output side here, then we could see like let's only focus for this one. So in this we can see ID one. So the first row which is the value as 2000. So in the running total that will be 2000 we want. Second row is having 1200. So in the running total that should be 3200. Then 2000 then that should be 5200. So we want to have this running total value like this. Once this group is going to change like the sales order is going to change and this time we are having this second sales order and this sales order we can see total six items here as well and once this group is changed then the running total will be reset and going to start from first. So the first row which is 20,000 so it should be 20,000 then we could see 50,000 here so it will be 70,000 so so we can see the data in the ascending order here for adding the values similarly we can do for the id3 as well so this is we want to achieve inside the azure data factory so for this we have to use the windows transformation so go to in the azure data factory and we'll try to see in the practical how we can achieve this from this input so here first let me show you the input table so this is for in windows 2 so this is the name of the csv file go to on the edit and under the edit we could see the data so we have the same data as we have seen in the excel file now go to on the azure data factory here let me try to add a new data flow and let me call this data flow as windows transformation now here we can add the source so we can click on that and after that we can create a new data set or we can use the inline so i'm going to create the new data set here so the source which is the azure blob storage click on continue delimited text click on continue then so name of the data set so it should be the data set of windows function now we can select the link service from here and here the first row as header we can select that one then we can browse go to the input folder and here we can see the file so this is the file we can select and click on ok now we can again click on ok on this so your data set will be created now go to on the projection and under the projection we can see all those columns here so go to on the data preview and try to see the data so here we can see the data because data flow debug option is on so we have already discuss about the data flow debug option so here we can see all the data now we need to add the windows transformation so we can click on this plus symbol and after that we can see in the schema modifier the window 
so we can select that one so under the window here we could see the over clause so on which column we want to do the over clause so first thing we need to take care so we want to do the group by on which column so here we can see the partition that should be based on the sales order id once the sales order id will change then your running total value should be reset so that column we have to select in the over clause so we can select the sales order id here now we can go in the sort so the sorting we have to select which column by which we want to do the running total so we are going to do the running total on the value column so let me select that and it should be on the ascending order after that here we can see the range by see the option and this is all disabled so go to the windows column now so under the window column so it will be going to add a new column so what will be the name of that column so let me quickly call that as total and go to the expression so what we want to do here so we just want to do the sum of value so let me try to search for the sum and after that here we can see the value column so we can select and we can save and close so it is reflecting an error just because of go to the source and here we can go in the projection and everything is coming under the string so we cannot do the sum on the string column so actually this is not the string this is the integer column so we can change that and go back to the windows function and here that error has been gone now we can go in the data preview and try to refresh it so we will see the data here so it is fetching the data now so we can wait so here in the total we can see the 500 then the second row is 1000 so it is the 1500 so similarly we can see in the second sales order id the value is 20000 so that's why it is 20000 and here the second row is 40000 so it is going to add with the 20000 plus 40000 as 60000 similarly we can see the other data once sales order id is going to change so your running total is going to reset so this is all about the window function similarly if we want to do the aggregate so we can also do that so let me try to add a new column and this column let me call this as average and similarly we want to do the average on the value column so this is the value column we can select and save and finish so go to the data preview and try to refresh it so once we will refresh it so we will see one more column here with the average so that will be having the average of all the running values so like here the average which is the 500 so by default it should be 500 so in the second row 500 plus 1000 divided by 2 so that will be 750 similarly if you are going to add 15000 plus 1200 so that will be 2700 and divide by 3 will be 900 so this is the average of all the running values go back to the windows setting and here let me try to add one more column and we will see other options as well so let me go here if you can see here under the function so we can go and here let me try to see the function which we can use inside the sql server so those functions may be lag function or the lead function so this is the lag function so lag function the first is any so we have to specify the value so we just want to get the value from here so go back to the all and here we can see the value so we just want to get the value how many rows before we want so that will be one row and after that if there is no any value then we want to see as zero so this is something like that now we can save and finish go back to here in the data preview and try to refresh it so before that if you can see this is the column one so under the column one we will be going to see the lag values so lag values should be based on the sales order and the value column so here we can see the column one so before that we did not have anything so that's why we have specified zero so that's why we can see the zero on the second we can see the 500 so that should be 500 on the third row that should be 1500 so we can see the 1500 here 
on the second that will be 1000 so we can see the 1000 here similarly for 1200 then 1200 once your sales order id value is going to change then it will be reset so we can see zero here and after that we can see the 20,000 then 40,000 so here we can see 20,000 and 40,000 let me put this in one of the sink so let me select the sink here and after that here let me use the inline data set option and after that let me select here the file so that file should be delimited file so let me select the delimited text here and after that we can select the link service so this is the link service we can select go to the settings and under the setting we can select the folder path so we want to keep the file under the output folder so we can select that one and click on ok and after that first row as header that is true and here the file name option should be a single file so output file name value will be like window and after that we can publish this so once we will publish this it is saying like we have to select so go back to the optimize and here the single partition option that we have missed now we can publish this so it will be going to publish in between let me try to create a new pipeline and on that pipeline this data flow will be executed so go back to here try to add a new pipeline and for executing the data flow we have to use the data flow activity so this is the data flow activity we can drag and drop here and under this we can see the settings so here we can select the data flow so the data flow that is the windows transformation this one and now let me try to execute it so once we will execute then go to the blob storage and here go to the output folder so in the output folder we will see one of the file with the name of window so that window file you can see here so let me try to open this so this will having all the data as we have seen so it will have three extra columns like total average and column one and this is having the same data as we have already seen in the as a data factory so this is all about the windows transformation so if you have still any doubt then you can comment your questions in the comment box see you in the next video Thank you so much.